Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I am back with a new video. And today we are gonna do something exciting. You know what? I just played Clash Royale, I'm playing Clash Royale for a long time. And if you would have seen the last video I made about this game, it was something interesting. If you have not seen, it was a battle between me, Akash, and Deep. Make sure you check that out. And today we are gonna do something tricky. Because in that video, we had done a battle in which we had uh, played with the cheapest deck ever and I lost miserably. But still, today we are not going to do cheapest, we are going to do something else. Now, first of all, because uh, we have a silver chest over here, let's like, just open it up. Okay, so we have 41 gold, 7 minions and a wizard. None of them are useful for the deck I am using right now. Now, this is the present deck I am using right now, which is kind of good for me. But the deck we are going to be using today is obviously not this one, but uh, we're going to be using today is the only epic deck. That is only epic. You're going to, we're going to use all the cards which are only epic. And let's see if we can get a victory. We're going to play three battles and let's see which of the most we get. If we get a majority win, that means the deck is good. If we get a majority loss, I, I uh, you know, I think it's not a good one. So let's uh shot this by i'm sorry okay rarity and let's pick up from the bottom we got a golem at the first place and then the pekka all right then we've got the lightning okay let me just place this up properly the expo i think so this is gonna be a good one because the expo is with us a witch is also a good card, I must say. I'm not gonna upgrade one of these because they are not in my main deck. And probably I'm just wasting money for them. Definitely gonna have the dragon. So, uh, I would like to suggest some changes, obviously, because the average elixir cost is really, really too high. That's 5.9, that's, that's really high. The average elixir cost of my normal deck is actually just 4. So, just gonna change one or two cards. I'm gonna keep the goblin barrel instead of the lightning spell and gonna keep the skeleton army instead of the giant skeleton and I think so that's pretty much it that's pretty much it I'll be able to tackle actually I don't have a sky uh, I don't have anything to you know tackle the sk enemies coming flying but uh, you know, that's all. We can get any epics. That's it. So, let's go and let's go ahead and battle. We're going to play three battles. Let's see what happens. First battle coming up now. And finally, we have got some competitor. And it's of level 7. Equal level. That's a good thing. That's a good thing I like. Now, I think so. We're going to push. What's my strategy? Use elixir wisely, obviously. So, probably going to... Place down the P.E.K.K.A somewhere. All right. So he's he's trying to push. He's trying to push for sure. And he has a ton of troops coming on my left tower. I gotta predict all of them. Probably put on the Bravey Dragon. I think so he's got my first tower. Yes, he's got. He's got. I don't know how to, how to do this. This P.E.K.K.A spoon is really really slow. I think they're gonna put down the uh, Skeleton Army right there and wait in with the Goblin Barrel to load up. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh boy, he's put a Golem in front of that. What the hell is this really happening? Damn! He's literally distracting my P.E.K.K.A completely. Damn! At least to go. Oh man! Oh, I forgot. Holy! I got two crowns. I did not even see that. Whoa! I can't see in replay. How do I get those? Damn! Now I'm just gonna put in the prince on the left so that I quickly get the third crown. Cause they're gonna finish up my P.E.K.K.A. I need this. I think the witch is doing a good job right here. But I hope it takes down. Gonna put out the baby dragon for the protection because skeleton army is just gonna be washed away because of the baby dragon. A zap, seriously a zap would do nothing to me. And that wizard won't do much damage on my right tower. And I'm gonna put down my skeleton army right there. Finally got a goblin battle. And looks like the dragon should be busy. I wish I, I had a rocket right now. It would be something health. The health of the tower would be like literally nearby 400 and just one rocket would be enough to get us a 3 crown victory. I'm gonna put up a pack up there. Going for a 3 crown actually. And you know 6 seconds left. That's, that's a good time. 
put him a witch there. Oh, he puts his golem again in front of mine, but I don't hit it out. What the hell? Damn it. I, I have to push them. He has a couple of many troops coming up there. Plus a wizard who's gonna wash away my skeleton army. Where is the health of the crown tower? I think I'm gonna get this. It's a free crown with two for sure. Yes, it's, it's, it's us. We got it. Oh, damn. More. Damn. He's put a mirror, he's mirrored the, uh, like, oh boy, damn it, we're gonna lose. Just 160 hit points left and I'm just unable to do anything. 15 seconds left. Oh boy, I just gotta do this, damn it. Come on. So just put a goblin by the right time, I hope they get at least some kind of damage. Damn it. Yes. Oh yes. We got the three crown victory on our first battle. Now, till now, it I think this is gonna be a good deck. I got even got a golden chest. It's just amazing. And let's go in for the second battle now. Oh, I got I, I can open my crown chest too. Let's see what we got in there. Three hundred five gold, uh, three gems, uh, four minion hob. That's kind of okay, but I got four hundred. That's a long way to go. Then skeletons, no use to me. Tesla, no use to me. Elixir Collector, I think would be I'll be able to use it in the next arena, but presently with my deck, no use to me. Let's go ahead with our second battle and let's see what we perform. We are against to a level six competitor. That's kind of unfair, but you know that's okay for me. I'm gonna put down my golem, cause slowly push down it. Let's go ahead with the golem now. And here's the hog rider. We're gonna easily counter it with the skeleton army. Anyway. So, yes, uh, probably hit, he hit once. That was pretty bad. But this man, oh my god, he just zapped my whole skeleton army. So we gotta know that he has a zap. He can easily get a uh, goblin barrel. He can easily get a skeleton army. He has a minion also. Great. I gotta put down a witch wickle because it's gonna be very useful for me. Going on. I just don't know what's going on. Waiting for the X bow to load up because I just want to fire it up on the right tower. Alright, the X bow is loaded up. And I'm gonna just place it down there. Hope he doesn't zap it or something. Oh boy. Oh man, come on. It's getting this. Oh damn, my X bow's gone. Damn, the X bow's gone. Damn. The X bow's gone. But it's because it just got distracted. Oh boy. I think so. The selection of Expo in this deck was a pretty bad idea. I don't think we're gonna get this. Oh, we're gonna get this. No, damn it. He zapped it again. The skeleton army got zapped again. Trying my best to save this up now. A bombo. He has a bombo too. Damn it. He has so much splash damage on me. He has so much splash damage on me. Just don't know what to do. Put down a knight in there. Hope he does at least some damage. Damn, he put the skeleton on me. So he just put a skeleton on me. So I think so I'll be good to place an expo right there. I don't know what he has for my expo. He'll he'll do something for countering, and that's for sure. He puts a golem right there. Oh damn it. The expo goes down soon, but I hope it does considerable damage to town. He won't be able to clear it out actually. We're gonna get that tower right now. Because I really wanna get it. Damn it, he put a skeleton down. This is the what this is what happened on our previous uh, previous battle. That whenever I put a goblin barrel down, he got it using Zap or some kind of skeleton army. But now I think so we're about to get victory. No. He's got a tower, I need to get one okay. We're gonna lose this time. We're gonna lose this time for sure. So that's down. Uh, uh, yeah, I know he's pushing, but here's a lot of flash damage. I said earlier. We have finally got a tower here, and but he's gonna get the second tower easily, easy peasy. Know, which actually moved backwards. Oh damn! Why well, I'm not so attentive in the game? Shit, that was so good. Exactly. At some seconds left at overtime, he got the second tower. 
Damn, that was a bad loss for us. 2-1. We're gonna move on to the third and the final battle of the game. And then declare this deck good or bad. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's go for the third battle. So here we go. Third battle, a level 6 person against us. I cannot read his name, unfortunately, because I do not know it's Japanese or Chinese, whatever language it is. But we got two cards for pushing. We got a P.E.K.K.A. and we got a Golem. I don't know what we're going to put on first. But let's go. Let's go with the Golem. I don't know why he's putting up. Well played, even though we have not even started the game. He puts a giant in, and I have to keep the skeleton army for the uh, counter for that. Until that, I'm gonna put in a witch. Probably it could counter it too, but just waiting for. Alright, he puts a witch too. He copies me. Doesn't matter. So he's trying to stop my golem with the witch. But he doesn't know golem has a lot of hit points than the giant. So the giant would stop. He put a whole lot of troops in there. Damn it. Probably will, might get this first tower. No, I, I I don't. I can't I can't do a mistake of putting in a uh, skeleton army up there because the Valkyrie is up there. Waiting for the oh boy, he has poison spell and he has done the biggest mistake. He has activated my king's tower. He has activated my king's tower and that is great news for us. But we are losing health. I'm gonna just put on a baby dragon. If he if he survives, we could get that tower. Real soon. Oh boy, he has an inferno travel to damn. Damn, he's gonna do a lot of damage to us. That's for sure. He's gonna put in a print and he's going for the tower right there and he doesn't get it yet. Let me put up my prince too. And we got his first tower. That's pretty good. That little goblin survived a lot, I must say. Put in a witch up there so that we can get a considerable victory. I don't know what I'm speaking. Like. Alright, witch versus witch, but I'm on a level two and he's on a level one. Still, I lost. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm so poor at this game. Whoa! I, I made a mistake. Damn. I should have not placed Skeleton Army right there. I knew it. I wasted my elixir. This is bad. Okay, so he's going for a tower by putting just down a poison spell. Probably he would get that too. And yes, he gets it out because he's poison spell. And my knight just goes to waste. Gotta put down expo for defense right here. Then I'll be able to handle it properly. Yeah, no, 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 no worries because of the goblin. A witch would be easily like. No. Damn it! He put a poison spell again. Damn it! This guy has a lot of poison. Spells. Is he mirroring them? I don't know. He has a mirror or something. But I really want to get the second tower at least to win this game. Oh boy, he, he just... Oh boy, that is good strategy up there. Okay, so we are about to get his tower. Till then, I may, you know... Alright, it was only in overtime. I'm so not attention. It was only over time. We have won the game. And out of the three battles we played, we have won two of them. So I judge this card deck as a pretty good one. Because a complete epic deck with these cards, I think so. That's a good one. It's good for pushing. It's good. Which is our main card for defending. Uh, Skeleton Army acts as both. Uh, Golem acts as pushing. Pekka acts as pushing. Goblin Barrel mostly for pushing. The expo for both pushing and defending, skeleton army for both countering and pushing, which mostly for countering, knight mostly for pushing, but I think the, the prince did not work well. I'm sorry, not knight, the prince did not work well with me, but still gotta be in the uh, deck. And finally, baby dragon mostly for countering its attacks. That was a pretty good battle up there. I won two battles out of three. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy the video. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Till then, peace out guys.